Finding Our Husband's Home Depot Edition, Part <laughs> 1. So somebody told me that we're no longer using dating apps. We're going to Trader Joe's Home Depot to find our husband, and that's what we're going to do today. I'm a day to go to Home Depot. It's not only in the morning. After 4 o'clock is a great time because after they leave their jobs and they realize that they need stuff for the next day or whatever the case is, or they're going back. It seems dating apps and gyms aren't doing a good job anymore with helping modern single ladies find their Mr. Right. Now they got a new spot, Home Depot. It's interesting, right? I got some clips of the adventures of most of these modern women. So sit back and let's dive right straight into it. Finding our husband's Home Depot edition. Part <laughs> one. Dear Hermione, we gotta look good. Okay. How are we doing? <laughs> okay. Cute puppy. So many options. I smell victory. <laughs> Modeling for us. After we go to the paint aisle, we're gonna go to the plumbing. Cause you know, that's where all the men go. <laughs> the hardworking men. <laughs> Those ninja skills. <laughs> On a mission. Competition. Get out the way. Competition. Nowadays, a lot of single modern women have moved away from dating apps and gyms. It wouldn't be incorrect to suggest they've made these spots less appealing for finding a romantic partner. Now, it seems they're turning to places like Home Depot in the hope of finding a husband. However, the results haven't been promising, mainly because most men visiting Home Depot are there to shop for supplies, not to look for a life partner. It's fascinating to see how some women try to stand out pretending to be confused or lost, all in an effort to grab attention. But one has to wonder, why do they think Home Depot would be the right place to meet a husband? This approach reflects a misunderstanding of why people visit home improvement stores in the first place. Men going there are typically focused on getting specific items for their projects, not embarking on a romantic quest. This strategy of seeking attention in such an unlikely place for romance illustrates a broader issue, the challenge of finding meaningful connections in today's world. It suggests a degree of desperation, or perhaps a misjudgment about where and how to find a compatible partner. The shift from traditional dating scenes to a hardware store highlights the lengths to which some are willing to go in their search for love, even when the setting doesn't align with the intended goal. I still got more clips to share with us. So somebody told me that we're no longer using dating apps. We're going to Trader Joe's, Home Depot to find our husband, and that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so this is the fit. I thought it was casual, cute, but, like, still kind of girly. All right, here we go. This is what my life has come to. So it was kind of a bust. Um, I got approached by a girl, and she said, Oh, my God, you're so pretty. Can you take my survey? So, I mean, I mean, you know, in, go in, but uh, on to the next place. So, I'm kind of over it. So, I got in and out instead, and I don't know. I just want to go home. <laughs> what piqued my interest was the part she began by reflecting on her current situation, saying, this is what my life has turned into. But honestly, nobody made her life this way except herself. When a lady sets sky-high expectations for any man who shows interest in her and decides to spend her 20s chasing after Chad while putting genuinely good potential partners into the friend zone, it usually ends up in this position. As she gets older and with the wall approaching, reality starts to hit. 
many women in similar situations start looking for any possible way to find someone to settle down with. This brings about the move from dating apps to gyms, and now, intriguingly, to Home Depot in the hope of finding a husband. It's quite a journey they embark on, driven by the sudden urgency to get married as they feel time is running out. It's an interesting strategy, searching for love in such places. While it might seem a bit desperate to some, it's also a sign of how determined they are to find love. This was what they would have prevented if only they were ready to accept someone from the tons of good guys that came their way in their 20s. I still got more clips to share. Let me tell y'all something, ladies. The best time of day to go to Home Depot is not only in the morning. After four o'clock is a great time because after they leave their jobs and they realize that they need stuff for the next day or whatever the case is, or they're going back to finish a job for someone, for a homeowner, or they're going home and doing a job. They're swarming Home Depot at that time. So if you're looking for your construction man, go after four. I promise you between four and five, you will find you a contractor. Now, it seems the focus has shifted towards construction workers as there's a belief that they are hardworking individuals. However, if these same men had shown interest while these women were in their 20s, they might have been overlooked for not being classy enough or not seeming capable of providing the glamorous future these women dreamed of. Yet, as time passes and the urgency to settle down grows, standards begin to change. Choices that once seemed unacceptable now appear as viable options because the pressure to find a partner becomes more intense. In a related scenario, there's a second video where she refers to some men as old men. I heard that the best place to meet a man was Home Depot. Let's see. Let's see. I've got to buy paint because I had to paint my apartment back before I move. There's a lot of Hispanic men here. I'm a hit Hispanic man. Everyone is here with their wives or girlfriends. Not the best day. And I'm not a homewrecker. Got my supplies and I'm out. We'll try again on moving day. <laughs> Okay, I lied. As soon as I came back outside, there they were, the older black men. I did not entertain them because they're older, but I was like, okay. This label could imply that these men aren't wealthy enough to be considered attractive sugar daddies. It showcases a shift in perception. Earlier, the priority might have been to find someone exciting and affluent, but as options seem to narrow, the criteria for a suitable partner also change. This adjustment in standards and the way men are labeled based on their perceived financial status reflect the complex dynamics of dating and relationships. On the other hand, even if they meet single men at the Home Depot, most of these men wouldn't go for these ladies. They would prefer ladies younger. I got a lady who was angry about this. Let's check it out. I had a man say to me once that the reason that he likes dating younger women is because they're not so angry literally was like i like younger women because they're so so sweet like yeah babe it's a lack of experience with your literal gender they don't know hey man if, if, if that's the case fine by me the fact still remains oh yet yeah. nobody likes an angry woman right it's okay to be a little angry though so if she's saying the more women deal with men the angrier they become then it makes a lot of sense. You kind of sold me even more on dating younger women. Thank you. The lady feels upset because men often prefer to date younger women instead of them. It's just a common fact. There's a belief among some men that younger women are easier to get along with because they're more open to fun and adventure and less set in their ways compared to older women. Additionally, some men think younger women are easier to control or influence which can make them more appealing partners for those seeking less complexity in a relationship. On the other hand, older women might view younger women as inexperienced, just as she believes that as these younger women spend more time in relationships and encounter more men, they will become wiser and more discerning. From this perspective, older women might think their emotional reactions or quickness to anger are justified by their life experiences which they feel have taught them to quickly identify red flags or undesirable traits in potential partners. However, suggesting that younger women are just inexperienced can sometimes be a way for older women to justify their own frustrations with dating and relationships. 
It's a complex dynamic where emotions and perceptions about age and experience and relationships can lead to misunderstandings and feelings of resentment. Not to get carried away, we got some people share their opinions about these Home Depot trips. The first reads, if I'm at Home Depot, I have got something to do. It's probably a project and I'm kind of in a zone. If some woman with a painted eye bow walks up to me, I'm not thinking about wifing her up, just getting away from her. The next reads, if you realized what you wanted sooner, then you would have had a large pool to choose from. If you wait until you are 35, you will be roaming around Home Depot looking to steal someone's husband. The last reads, I work at a Home Depot. I usually see married couples shop here and angry old ladies. I wonder what makes them angry. That will be all for today. What do you think about finding a husband at Home Depot? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell so you will get notified whenever we post a new video.